The future of Pakistan is tourism, 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 and the second thing is something called CPEC. Got Swat Valley. Got Swat Valley, which has been labelled the Switzerland of Asia. Mama, I'm your pasto. You're my pasto. <laughs> Number three, the culture. Number three, let's talk about the culture. Pakistan looks like heaven on earth. Pakistan does look like heaven on earth. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. We saw glaciers, we saw deserts, we saw rivers, we saw lakes. And then did you know Islamabad is ranked as the second most beautiful capital city in the whole world? Welcome to Hedges World, don't be fancy, hello! Aslam Gum, up get it! Walaikum Aslam, Hedi, May Tiku, Umid, Hai, Aapi Sab Tiku. First of all, I would just like to say thank you to all our new subscribers that we've got. And my, and my videos. On your videos? Yes. Yes? Thank you for subscribing. I got a jet fighter from Smith's Toy Superstores. You don't need to tell them the shop. Okay, sorry. Oh, we just there and I have weapons. Here's a radar. Here's the engine. Yeah. Here's a horizontal stabilizer wings. Yeah. And here's a vertical stabilizer wings. How you do the wings? That is I so did, cool. These are the thrusts. Button, you press it and the thrust lights up. That. The cockpit. Yeah, is that where what? And what are these then? These are external fuel supply that are right here. That is so cool. And the wings open and close. And the wheels pop out. Oh, that's cool. Is that the landing gear? Yes. Yeah? That means we're to fly. Yay! Today we're going to look at a video about Pakistan. Yes, so we are going to watch a video all about Pakistan, which uh, one of our lovely subscribers has asked us to watch. And our subscriber's name is Abdullah Naveed. So thank you so much for um, sending us the link and asking us to watch this. There's a 4K view all around Pakistan. Yep, so this video is basically 4K high definition views all around Pakistan. And this is made by Flying Jib Studios. So everyone please... What is that Flying Jib Studios? It's the name of the YouTube account who made the actual video that we're going to watch today. So everyone please follow them and they have a few other videos about Pakistan, aerial, view, uh, aerial views. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to watching this video myself and to showing Heather and hopefully at the end of this we can discuss what we've seen, hopefully raise awareness to people who have probably not been to Pakistan, who don't know much about Pakistan. So oh, people would visit, visit Pakistan! Yeah, so let's hope that after we watch this video together, why don't you check out the video with us and we can have a nice discussion and hopefully at the end of this you might want to visit Pakistan um, and I definitely want to take Heather to Pakistan as well, don't I? So we've not taken him yet, but I think you'd really love it. So let's watch this together and hopefully we will like it. Can't like it. Yes, so the title of the actual video is Pakistan, oh, Pakistan in 4K Full Documentary. Let's watch it. So excited. Are you? Yes. I am too. If you guys have any more suggestions, please let us know. I do read all the comments that we get and we try to reply to everyone, don't we? Heather really enjoys reading your comments, so thank you so much for that. Uh, we will try and do everyone's suggestion, but it's not always possible, is it? But when we see, when we get suggestions about Pakistan and trying to showcase the beauty of Pakistan or try and promote Pakistan in any way that we can, we will just definitely do those kind of videos first. So thank you so much. And if you've got any more ideas, please let us know because I'd love to teach Heather. And at the same time, you guys can be watching it with us yeah. as well. <laughs> Yay, let's press play. I'm excited. Me too. Oh, there you go. There's a lot of valley there. Wow, so this is uh, Balochistan Gwadar. Mud volcano, oh my goodness. It's, full, it's mud rounded. 
So this is Princess of Hope, still in Balochistan at the bottom. Can you see? So we're in Balochistan province. Never heard about that before. Look at that, it's in the rocks. Oh, this is the highway. Oh. Can you see how beautiful it looks like yeah. a desert, doesn't it? I like nice music. Yeah. This is still Guado. And look how it goes from desert to like houses. Oh my goodness. This is a river. Isn't it going to go to a car because the monster in the water? Yeah, and that was the volcano. And this is a beach. That is beautiful coastline this of Lotus so Island. The Guada Jetty. Sunsetting. Yeah. You see the little, those are little boats. Yes. Monster. This is Sin. Can you see the music has changed? This must be Sindhi music. Shah Jahan Mosque. Shukarpur. So, oh look, clay. clay. Yeah, clay pots. Oh, embroidery of Sindh. Did you know Calvin for the star? Children playing, that's nice. Yeah, it's so nice and clean. Fun. Fun. Yeah, so Pakistan's doing a lot of um, Turkey in science and electrical power, electrical power. So this is Karachi, the capital of Sindh is Karachi. Okay. Clifton Beach. What's Clifton is the area, must be. Dolman City. Dolman City. No. That's fine. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah? What is that? It looks like they're doing rock. I think they're up water. So Karachi Beach, so they're obviously doing some kind of... Um, Escalators digging up water. Yeah. Oh no, too fast. Be careful, guys! <laughs> the car's sitting round and round. Oh, jet ski! The musical is tiny! Yeah, so this is Punjab. So, this is a fort. It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's like an old castle of the olden times. Someone's on the motorbike there. Look at that, isn't Pakistan so different in every area? Yeah. Old train, I didn't know this train in Pakistan. Do you? No. There's trains. Oh, oh, so, this is a fort. Wow, largest banyan tree. Banyan? Banyan tree. Sagoda. Islamabad, Rawal Lake. So we are from, my parents are from uh, Rawpindi, Islamabad. A village called Kalar Seda. So this is like our kind of area. Lahore. Lahore. Look at the beautiful. Oh, Faisal Masjid of Islamabad. Islamabad is a beautiful city. So it's like a triangle shape. Yes. So Jesus Cathedral. Oh, We've got. Um, this is a square one. Yeah. Another one. Oh, Kartarpur. So this is for Sikhism, for this Sikh is people. This is the Sikh one. Yeah. This is the Sikh one. So this now this is Multan. Multan. Rolfindi. Rolfindi. So Alma is from here. Do you like the city areas? I think you can see the beautiful mountains in the back as well, oh, can't you? Well, Yes, this is Pakistan Monument. It's um, a Robin Lake Park. I think I might have been here when I was younger, but I can't remember properly. But I feel like I have been here. Oh, go kart. So this is a fort, Carter. maybe. Sandboard. You got a jeep rally. So much deep. So Islamabad. I like the music of Punjab. Do you? This is a dam. Oh, leave it. That's the, um, so there's so much history in Pakistan. This is like an old city. We'll talk about that at the end, actually. That's really nice. There's so much history in Pakistan. Yes, you've got your Jela military show. The meaning of things. This must be the north. Khyber Pukhunpa. Khyber Look how beautiful that is. You've got greenery and snow in the same shot. Can you try and say that? Paktunqua. Paktunqua. Dunhara River. River Swat. Wow, River Swat. Nathya Gali. Oh, you've got snow there. Isn't that so cool? I didn't know they got snow in Pakistan. Yeah, you've got glaciers as well there. It's, it's got rocks. Well, you're the high pipe laser. 
Yes, and look at that beautiful bridge going across the river. Wasn't that so nice construction? So it looks like they did construction here. What is that? I'm not sure. Look, oh, they're like, carrying heavy blocks for building. Oh my goodness, that road is quite scary to drive on. Would you like to go there? Mm. Oh, so look, you've got industry, so you've got a steel re rolling mill. What is that? What is that? Colourful Jeep. Wow, look at this beautiful lake. For Charlotte. That's a jet fighter. Maybe it's the Pakistan Air Force. So the motorways are looks fine. No. For Charlotte. It's over. Yeah. Gilgit. Gilgit. The music's changed again. So each region has got its own kind of music. <gasps> that is beautiful. Mashallah, look at that. They're looking in the snow. That's the rocks of the mountains. Skardu. You've got desert there and you've got ice there as well in Gilgit. Water. Wow. You've got water there. Yeah, you've got beautiful lakes there as well. And so much greenery. Oh, they're looking for me of the rocks. Yeah, and look in the back, you've got your mountains of snow. Skartu. Water. Oh, that's a big. I would like to go there. Wouldn't you? What would you do there? Swimming? Yeah. Wow, Hedi. So beautiful, isn't it? Look how clean and beautiful and fresh the water is. No ducks. No ducks in this water. Oh, there's someone on the hill, on the mountain. Wow. This is the Kundra Pass. What's Kundra? That is the uh, group of mountains there. Be careful, man. <laughs> what is this? Basu. 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 So you've got like rocks and hills, and with that, you've got beautiful ice on the mountains. Hunza. Oh! Bull. Is that a bull or is it a yak maybe? I'm oh, not sure. I think I hope it's a bull. You hope it's a bull? Yeah. I think bulls don't, they had like um, oh Hunza. Hunza Valley. That's where you get a nice apricot kernels from. You really have seen the game. Yeah, so this is Azad, Jammu and Kashmir, Muzaffarabad. Got Jhelum River there. Yeah, what is there as well? Yeah. Lots of snow there as well. Valley. Beautiful, because isn't it? I'll be scared to go in there. Would you? This is Fiz Jinasi. Look at all the beautiful trees you've got there with the hills. Muzaffarabad still. The music changed again. Mangla Dam, Meepur. National anthem. Should we stand up for this? So let's show our respect and stand up for the Pakistan National Anthem. Oh, standing on the chairs. It's done. It's done. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. So we've just finished watching that video of Pakistan, aerial shots, drone views all across Pakistan, literally across all the four provinces. And what would you like to say after watching the Hedi? It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Long pause. Well done, Flying Jib Studio. That everyone needs to watch that. It was so beautiful, that video. We really, really, really enjoyed watching that. And it's such a great educational tool to show people. I feel like that video basically showed everything about Pakistan. There was the landscape. Shall we divide this? Shall we discuss, divide our topic into different um, segments? Otherwise, it would get quite confusing. So, shall we talk about the landscapes first? Number one, first landscapes. Landscapes. Desert and forest. Yeah, the landscape was just a beautiful blend of deserts and forests. Hills and mountains. Hills and mountains. We saw glaciers, we saw deserts, we saw rivers, we saw lakes. Everything you would ever want to see in any kind of holiday or any kind of trip you go to is in Pakistan. So Pakistan is just so naturally beautiful and... <coughs> Shukran, Got it! Got it. No tissue today.
Yes. 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 So one of the most amazing things about Pakistan's landscape, which is unique outside of the Earth's north and south pole, Pakistan is the only country in the world which has got a 38 mile long glacier, which is a long bit of ice, which you only find in the north and south pole. That's so, that's very amazing. Pakistan looks like heaven on earth. Pakistan does look like heaven on earth. Absolutely beautiful. There's no words that we can use that can describe its beauty. Um, I can't think of any words that can do justice to what we've just seen. Can you? Apart from beautiful and heaven on earth. I know. It's marvellous. It's marvellous. Mashallah. So, Number two, the provinces. Number two, let's talk about the provinces of Pakistan. So there's four provinces, four different areas in Pakistan. Pakistan. Lochistan, whose capital is Quetta. Punjab. Number two is Punjab, whose capital is Lahore. Number three is Sindh. Number three is Sindh, whose capital is Karachi. And Hamgunga Dinsin. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Can you say that again? Hamgunga. Khyber. Khyber. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Khyber. Khyber. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Khyber. 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 Can you say Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, whose capital is Peshawar? You mean we're seeing you all of the areas that we saw? Yeah, so all the different areas that we saw had their own music. We saw Islamabad. Yes, Islamabad is the capital city of Pakistan. <laughs> I love. Did you know Islamabad is ranked as the second most beautiful capital city in the whole world it is so scenic it is so beautiful there's so many trees there there's so much history there first of all it must have is there the mosque with the triangle shape did you see that yeah uh, the second one is there yeah and one square one summer bar and the whole of Pakistan has just got some breathtaking scenery that's a good word to use isn't it breathtaking what, what is breathtaking breathtaking means that when you see something <gasps> It takes your breath away, that <laughs> like you just forget to breathe because it's so beautiful. I think that's a good way to describe it. Right. <laughs> Number three, the culture. Number three, let's talk about the culture. Different languages in Pakistan. Yeah, there's different languages in Pakistan. So the national language of uh, Pakistan is? Urdu. Urdu. Yeah, the national language of Pakistan is Urdu, but then you've got lots of different languages in Pakistan. That are You've got Sindhi, you've got Punjabi, you've got Saraiki, you've got Balochi, uh, you've got Pashto. Pashto. Mama, I'm your Pashto. You're my Pashto? <laughs> so many different cultures all living peacefully in Pakistan. And we also saw actually in the video, did you notice there were things, they were showing us things about different religions there. So apart from mosques, we saw a Gurdwara in Kartarpur. Oh. We saw Buddhist monasteries. Oh. And I think Whoa. we saw a Hindu temple Whoa. as well. So the new government that has come into power has actually opened up the borders from India to Pakistan to allow Sikhs and people who want to visit the Gurdwara in Kartarpur visa fee entry, which was not allowed before, so they can come and enjoy the festival that they have there for Guru uh, Nanak Dev Ji. Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So uh, Guru Nanak Dev is um, someone who um, Sikh people believe in. Next one going is history. History. What's history in Pakistan? There is so much history in Pakistan here. There's so a lot of people for tourism reasons. There would be a lot of people who would be interested in coming to Pakistan just for the history. You've got civilizations there which are more than five thousand years old. You've got the history of Mohenjo-daro. You've got the Harappa. You've got what we saw in the Taxila city remains, which you saw in the video. So oh my God, that's that is really old, so that's called history. So that's, that would be some reasons why people would want to see Pakistan because of the history, because you can learn a lot from the past and you can see all these old civilizations. That's what I'm going to talk about tourism. Tourism! We want people to visit Pakistan! We want people to visit Pakistan. <laughs> Heather, did you know that? A lot, a quite a few years ago, 1967, Queen Elizabeth from England came to Pakistan and she went to an area called Swat and she called it the Switzerland of the East. So Swat I is beautiful. In Karachi, in the 30s to 70s, Karachi was called like the golden era. 
so everyone would go to Karachi. If you look at old photos of Pakistan, you could see tourists from foreigners all around the world would come to Karachi beaches. Our tourism was booming. We have now to tourism. Fortunately, over the years, due to government and corruption and things like that, tourism has kind of gone down it's taken a back seat no, and i think the media has had a play part to play no, in this instead of showing good points about pakistan they tend to show the bad points some Luckily, our new government which has come will make tourism a top priority so they're going to build hotels in all these beautiful areas oh, that you see yes. We hope that inshallah just how like our tourism was booming in the 70s it will start doing that again now and then Heather will go to all these lovely places that we've seen Yeah Yeah, so tourists will just love the history of Pakistan the culture, the scenery you The Karakoram Mountains You've got the Karakoram Mountains of the north that people would love to see You've got Swat Valley You've got Swat Valley which has been labelled the Switzerland of Asia History. Got lots of history there which we've spoken about and you've also got descendants of Alexander the Great if people are interested in that kind of stuff who live in the northern area so that would be of some interest to people as well. The main thing is hospitality. Yes, the main thing which makes Pakistan amazing are people like you watching our videos and um, it's just the hospitality of everyone is the best. Everyone is so nice and friendly. Yeah, everyone in Pakistan is so nice and friendly, especially when they see foreigners. Uh, we've seen Mark Weens who went there. A long time ago, I used to watch something called George Go Pakistan. I don't know if you guys used to watch that, but there was a foreigner who went to Pakistan and he loved it. And I think he's still living there now. So everyone was just so warm, so welcoming. It, uh, you know, everyone's just so lovely. They give you so much respect and it's so safe there. And even if someone is really poor there, they still share everything that they've got. They've got the biggest hearts in Pakistan everyone has. Let's talk about the future of Pakistan. The future of Pakistan is tourism, tourism, tourism. And the second thing is something called CPEC. CPEC. CPEC is, uh, is a CPEC stands for the China Pakistan Economic Corridor. So we have a mouthful. That's why they call it CPEC. It's basically there's going to be a lot of industry, there's going to be a lot of money, there's going to be a lot of investment happening in Pakistan, especially from starting from Gwadar port, which we saw in the video. Do you remember Gwadar where they had those excavators digging? Do you remember that bit? They dig in the water. Yeah, they were doing some building work in the water. So that's the port of Gwadar, which is like the area of the where the ships will come in. And what will happen with CPEC, inshallah, will impact the whole country. Great for economy. It's great for economy. So that's the future of Pakistan. Tourism, CPEC, and also things that have been happening recently, which we touched upon, uh, Qatarpur and letting people in for religious reasons to visit their holy shrines and things like that. So inshallah, the only way for Pakistan now is up. Pakistan will fly to the sky. <laughs> The future of Pakistan is in our hands and the media and the new government so inshallah everyone will try to promote Pakistan like we are doing right now and at the same time we are teaching Heather and anyone else who doesn't know about Pakistan through our videos so I hope you enjoyed this video please, please like and subscribe to our channel I learned about Pakistan today yeah I hope you all liked watching that video with us that is the real face of Pakistan that we saw today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you've got any more suggestions, please let us know. Until then, God bless. Take care. Not again. God bless again. You want to ask me again. That's fine. Bye. 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 Some spooky. Thank you for watching.